How did I go from this 217 pounds in January 1st, 2022 to this 184 pounds by the end of March, 2022? Well, it might surprise you. It wasn't as difficult as our first thought it might be. And on this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did, step by step. So if you wanna lose weight and if you wanna get in better shape, watch this full video because I'm gonna tell you these systems, these methods, these habits that you you can get into that will really help you and also at the end of the video I'm going to tell you what I did to get toned up because when I lost the weight I kind of went into like a skinny fat with no definition in my body and then I start doing something that really helped me tone up and get my abs back so I'll talk about that at the end of the video so first off I just want to say I used to be in great shape being a professional boxer I used to have my abs at all the time having to make weight it was great but then when I retired and I stopped training and I stopped dieting that's when the weight start piling on and I start having to wear bigger clothes and you might relate to this but when you start putting weight on it kind of brings your mood down and when you're not exercising it brings your energy levels down as well your confidence goes so what kind of makes you feel better is eating more and drinking more but the more you eat the more you drink the bigger you get the worse you feel so it's kind of like a downward spiral if you like and even though I retired from boxing in 2012 my weight's always been up and down more on the upside well a lot more on the upside and right now this is the first time that I've had abs and being in good shape and felt confident walking around Los Angeles where I live with me shirt off. How did I do that? Well, it all starts off with really wanting it. And you know, lots of people say, oh, I need to lose weight, oh, I need to get in better shape. And then you might go to the gym and, and for a week and diet for a week and you know starve yourself and then after that week's over you're like oh I'm going to have a drink I'm going to eat some crap and then I'll just start my diet again on Monday and then you kind of up and down you'll you'll lose a little bit of weight and then you'll put it straight back on and and I can really relate to this because I've did it for like the last 10 years but now something has changed something has clicked I've gotten into great habits and like I said it starts by really wanting it now really wanting it not just so I'll have a six pack and walk around the beaches here in California with me shirt off but also for me overall health and me brain health as well I'm obsessed with brain health and when you're eating good rather than eating crap your brain health will improve so the things that I did and bear with me because I'm going to explain them because they're not as difficult as you might think first thing is twice a day exercise for 45 minutes and I'm going to break it down for you because it's not what you think now you might be thinking this is insane I can't do it I'm out well, bear with us. When I'm talking about exercise, and I'm not talking about going to the gym or blasting that heavy bag and working really, really hard twice a day, every single day. No, I'm not. I'm talking about elevating your heart rate just slightly or even just going for a walk, just moving your body. You'll be surprised how little you probably are moving around right now. And what I did, one of these was a walk. Yes, I went for a simple walk with my wife, I did it every single day for 50 days in a row. This was on an evening time. When the kids went to bed, we went for a walk. My other workout, my other sort of movement was being on the Oculus. I was doing the boxing games on the Oculus. I was doing the other exercise apps on there because honestly, I'm not a big fan of exercise and doing this was great because, you know, I was playing a game. Didn't really feel like I was exercising, although I did get competitive on some of the boxing games when I was exhausted. Doing that once a day with a walk or just doing two walks a day, that's it. You're moving your body for 45 minutes twice a day. The other thing that I would do for my movement and my exercise was when I was just training other people. I do some fitness training out here with other people. I teach them how to box. I used to count that as my movement. I'm not training or working out or lifting weights for 45 minutes. No, I'm just making sure that my body is active for them 45 minutes. Now moving on to the drinking the water. You've probably heard this before, drinking lots of water. One thing that I got told when I did my personal training certification course years and years ago, which always sticks with me. If you think about this, a muddy car and you get a dry sponge and you try and wash that muddy car. Yes, you'll get a bit of mud off, but you're not gonna clean it. Compared to if you dip that sponge in soap and water, then you wipe the car, then you're gonna get a lot of the mud off. And it's kind of the same with your body, with your body fat. If you're drinking lots of water, it's gonna help you get rid of that fat in your body. So making sure you're drinking eight to 10 Big glasses of water every single day will really help you with this. Yes, you're gonna be on the toilet a lot, but it's just gonna be helping clearing out your system. And if you're hydrated, your exercise will be better. And if your exercise is better, your sleep will be better, what I'm gonna talk about 
in a second. So yeah, being well hydrated is key, is key to doing this. Now, before I talk about the diet, I wanna just talk about sleep. The importance of this. This is super key to having success in, in doing this because when you sleep good, you will live better. You will make better decisions. If you sleep bad the next day when it's time to go and do your exercising, you'll probably be like, oh, I can't be bothered. I, I slept bad last night. You know, I, I stopped up too late watching TV. And then there's way more chance of you quitting this and we don't want to quit we want to get into these good habits by learning how to have good sleep or practicing good sleep this will really help you get into these better habits my wife has got a youtube channel giving you so many tips on how to get the best night's sleep ever you can definitely check out her channel it's nurse sarah jeffries the videos on there is great i learn a lot from sarah having a sleep expert as my wife really helps us with this so by doing things like we're not watching the tv till 10 11 o'clock at night having them blue lights in your face that right there will prevent you from having a good sleep being on your phone before bed another thing that will prevent you from having a good sleep i've always left my phone in the other room when i go to bed because the last thing you want to do is pick that up and get the blue lights in your eyes that will keep you awake now the biggest thing for me is falling asleep it was hard for me to fall asleep so what i start doing was reading i got a kindle to read in bed and the kindle it doesn't hasn't got the blue lights on that keeps you awake when i start reading these stories i start falling asleep and i used to always read books like things that will help me get better in business and marketing and stuff like that but with the nighttime stuff i read fictional stories that really help me my mind switch off and and fall asleep fast so if you can switch watching the tv to being on a kindle or reading a book absolute game changing will help you fall asleep fast and as well it's helping your brain function as well and the thing that really helped me fall asleep faster and have a deeper sleep for the full duration of the night was when i invested in one of these the pod pro from eight sleep this actually heats or cools the surface of the bed according to your own body temperature so let's say in the middle of the night if you're starting to get hot and you might be about to wake up it'll cool you down or if you're getting too cool and your body's about to wake up it'll heat you up it's also got a great app as well that tracks your heart rate variability your sleep cycles it gives you all of the tools that you need to have the ultimate sleep and you know we sleep one third of our lives so why would we not want to invest in something that will really help us get the best night's sleep ever and this pod pro cover does that and when i wake up the next day and i've had a great sleep i really notice and i'm motivated and it keeps me on track to all my goals which was weight loss and now it's maintaining so if you want to get more details about this and also if you decide to buy one you get $150 off go to eightsleep.com forward slash boxing and you will learn all about this mattress I really wish I had one of these when I was training for the Olympics because my bronze medal might have been a different color medal I never know but I can't recommend it highly enough go to eightsleep.com forward slash boxing and get all the details there now moving on the big one is diet because you can work out 30 times a week you can sleep an amazing every night you can drink all the water in the world but if if you're not putting the right stuff in your mouth guess what you're going to keep a belly you're going to stay fat you're going to stay in bad shape all the time eating the right stuff is key now what is the right stuff you might be thinking how often should you eat well i'm going to tell you i just want to see it i'm going to create a, a program for this where i'm going to create an app and hold you accountable for this and when i develop this program and this system to help you for free so click the link below leave me your email and i'll be informing you when this program is ready which will make it super simple for you to stick along to okay so diet what should you be eating what shouldn't you be eating well there's a thousand diets out there and there's lots of good diets there's so many different opinions on what you should eat what you shouldn't eat and i kind of feel like it's common sense what you should be eating i think everyone knows that what a good diet is you know eating your vegetables eating your proteins eating good quality food all the time and the diet that i went to this time was keto diet which is lots of protein lots of good fats and that done the trick for me and the fats 
kept me from being hungry, kept me from having the cravings at night where I used to crave crisps and eating loads of crap at night before I went to bed when I was watching the TV. Well, I stopped the TV and then I start changing my diet to this and it really did help me with them cravings of eating crap at night. And when I did feel like snacking, I used to eat the Honored protein bars because Honored sponsored me and they send me these protein bars, which is amazing. So I used to have them, it tastes like mint chocolate. Because they sponsor me, the sponsor in the video, you get 10% off the protein bars and everything else at Honored if you go to honored.com forward slash boxing. Yes, it is a sponsored read, but also at the same time, it's what I did. I'm telling you what I did. So if you are going to eat protein bars, make sure you're eating good, high quality ones. And the ones from Honored is definitely that. So if you want to get 10% off, go to honored.com forward slash boxing, you get 10% off them. And that's kind of the other thing with my diet. Everything that I was putting in my mouth was high quality food. I would never eat any processed crap. So from the meat, grass fed meat, the eggs, free ranged eggs, the vegetables, organic vegetables. When I did eat some fruits, it was all organic as well. Now we understand it's a little bit more expensive to eat. If you can eat this high quality food, definitely do it. Now one of my favorite meals that I would be having on my diet was bacon, scrambled eggs and avocado. I was having that just about every day and I still am now. I love that, that's a real good, high energy, healthy meal. Now you might be thinking, bacon? What? Trust us, it's got the, if it's good quality bacon, it's got good quality fats in there that'll help give you energy for your next workout. Bacon, avocado and eggs, great go-to meal. And you know, another thing on diet where I've, I've kind of missed off there is no alcohol. Yes, I'm sorry, no alcohol for the duration of when you're doing this. I've not drank alcohol now for two years. You can watch my video about that if you want. So I'm good on not drinking alcohol. My wife, she was offered for the full duration of this. She's just started back on it now and she lost a lot of weight as well. So keeping off the alcohol is key for this success as well. And you can do it. Try and do this for 60 days and I am guarantee you it'll change everything. And that's another thing. If you're quitting alcohol and let's say you spend $30 or 30 pound a week on alcohol, why not use that 30 pound or 30 dollars and put that in a higher quality food that will just make you feel better and you know if you're eating good quality food it's going to help you sleep better if you're sleeping better remember what i said it's going to help you get into these better habits as well before i end the video i'm going to tell you what i did to get toned up and get their muscles before i tell you that i just want to see it you know if you want me to send you this program once i've done it it might be six months it might be a year from now but i will do it eventually leave me your email below i'll drop you an email once it's ready so yes i went into a skinny fat without having much definition in my arms and my body and i and I, even though i was getting on the skills and i was light i was like uh, i looked in the mirror and i was like i don't look good so i just start incorporating some ab workouts and some press ups as well to for my arms and obviously for me core me core when i was doing the first workout of the day which might have been a boxing workout in an oculus or just to walk i would always end that with like five or ten minutes of ab crunches and doing as many push-ups as i could two or three times and i did that for the last couple of weeks and just two weeks of that really did help me get in better shape now and one thing i can see about this and doing this for like the 60 days it's really helped me wanting to get in better habits i never ever want to get back to the way i looked before with that belly where I'm embarrassed taking my shirt off, where I'm embarrassed in front of me kids even when they can see me big belly. I want to set a great example to my kids and be healthy and be in great shape. So I know now that I'm never going to go back to where I was. I'm going to stick to this diet and it's really helped me change my full lifestyle so I can ultimately have a better life and who doesn't want to have a better life but you can watch this video and have a great workout this can be one of your workouts that you can do every single day again it's free everything's free click here watch this video next